channel so today I am gonna be bringing you as you can see from the title I have a get ready with me today and I'm so excited to do this video because you guys have been requesting it like crazy so here it is but before that I do want to ask you guys to please subscribe and give me a like right now and yeah I think with that being said we're gonna continue on with our video okay you guys so today I'm gonna be using um, my new Jaclyn Hill palette. I got it, I think, like two days ago, and I'm so excited to try it because I don't have any a lot of palettes um, right now. Because I don't know if you guys know this, but some lady stole them. Like when I was working, she broke into my car, and so I was really limited on my makeup. I was already limited, but it just it got worse when she stole my shit. So. I just kind of had to work with this. This is the only thing I was doing like my eyes with. So a lot of my makeup looks really familiar. Like a lot of my eyeshadow looks really familiar in the past videos because this is all I had. So finally I saved up and then I was able to get my Jaclyn Hill palette which I've been wanting for a while. Um, but it just takes a lot for me to splurge on makeup. I just feel like if I just get comfortable with like my same palettes and then I just feel like if I, I, I am... If I have the things I need, I, I don't feel like I need extra. So, yeah, like, I looked up all the reviews and everything. And I even asked, like, my friends. I asked my friend Noelle, and I was like, do let me know if it's good or whatever. And she's like, yeah, like, she even, like, I, I, um, I FaceTimed her. And she's like, yeah, dude, it's really, really good. Go ahead and get it. And that's so I was like, all right. She swatched them for me and everything, so I was like, alright, you convinced me. Um, and, yeah, so I ended up buying it, like, two days ago. I was really, really excited to finally purchase a palette because I've been wanting one. And I just feel like I always stick to the same colors. Like, I always stick to the warms and, you know, things like that because that's, like, the colors that I feel the most comfortable in. But... I used to wear a lot of like purples and all that but ever since like I just stopped wearing that much makeup um I just whenever I do wear makeup I don't wear that much you know like like colorful so yeah you guys wanted to see a little um foundation foundation a little get ready with me so this is what I am gonna bring you guys last night I, I washed all of my brushes so they could be like nice and ready for today. Where's oh let me go ahead and get my foundation. Oh okay for foundation you guys already know what I like to use. I like to use my L'Oreal. Um and excuse my eyebrows, they're really really bad right now, but I haven't had a chance to like pluck them or I want to get them threaded no right now I could just pluck them um but in the future I do want to get them threaded so if if anybody can leave like suggestions down below on like anyone that threads eyebrows here in Vegas that would be nice and prior to this I did apply um my crema which is my ponds and my primer so um yeah so you guys were wondering what i was up to and let me just talk to you guys about it i just feel like my hair is so messed up because i took a shower last night and you know when i don't know about you guys but when my hair is freshly washed it just doesn't like it's not the same as when it's like it's been days and it just when it's more oily it's easier to control than right now when it's freshly washed i feel like um i don't like it so that's what i'm dealing with right now oh yeah so you guys were wondering like what i was up to a lot of you um know already because if you guys be quiet If you guys follow our family channel, you guys know what's up, like what's been going on. But a lot of you guys don't, so 
I just figured I would make this for you guys. A lot of you guys actually... So yeah, a lot of you guys were suggest suggest suggesting. A lot of you guys were suggesting this video. Um, a get ready with me. I know I don't do them often, but if you guys like these type of videos, let me know. I'm planning on doing more like makeup tutorials, things like that, because I like to vary my videos. I don't like to bore you guys with the same things. Um, so I like to. So whatever you guys want to see, like drop a comment down below because I do listen. I do go read all of my comments and, you know, whatever video suggestions I do do. Today I'm going to be actually filming two videos and, yeah. Um. Oh yeah, so I was at the topic. So, um, you guys were wondering, like, what was going on and all of that. Um, so yeah, we did move. We moved to Vegas. A lot of you guys were wondering, um... What made us move? Well, on top of... Well, Sergio, the job thing wasn't really, like, the main thing with him. Like, he, he had a, a job over there, too, you know? But um, it's just opportunities, you know? We just decided that it would be better. Um, I just didn't really... We didn't really have time with, for, with Nathan. And, you know, he would... Sergio would go home. You guys seen my the way my day was so hectic I would basically go to work we would go to the gym and then we wouldn't see Nathan till like 10 sometimes in the night and then he would be sleeping so we wouldn't really I didn't really have a chance to like spend that much time with him so um you know, we, we, Sergio noticed that and he was like, oh, well, um, I think it's time for a change. And I thought the same too, you know, and Sergio mentioned to me, we had, we had been looking into moving like out of state just because California, if you guys live in California, if you guys heard maybe California is extremely expensive, not like super extreme, but it just compared to a lot of other states, um, it's a very expensive lifestyle if you do like to keep up with and yeah so um once he got this opportunity i was like wow this is perfect i feel like um we didn't really go out looking for it like it just kind of like came about and once it did i was like oh well why not you know like it would be beneficial for all of us for nathan even you know and finally he would be able to stay home with me and i would be able to stay home just work from home do this and focus on classy lady as well so i don't know i just feel like it was like kind of like a win-win situation to where like living staying in california was not even like it wouldn't match up to it you know like this sayable like it just won you know so we're like okay well it only make it just makes sense to kind of like do it this way of course, we do miss our families. We, I do miss my mom. Nathan misses my mom. But I feel like it's better, you know, in the long run. He's little right now, so he's not really going to feel much of a difference as in, like, school-wise. He had just one year of kindergarten, I mean, preschool. So it's not like he's going to be, like, moving from middle school to, like, a different middle school or something, you know. it's. I think it's worse for, like, kids um older that are older that have to like switch schools or whatever but for the most part yeah like i feel like it won't be yeah um i feel like it, it'll be better and i'm excited so um let me tell you guys what happened so sergio ended up getting the job and and we were just waiting on like some things to process so then once he like everything was approved and everything um we started looking into like homes like we wanted to rent a house meanwhile you know just to like check out the areas and stuff because we don't know anybody we don't have any family here and yeah everything was taken so we were fucked basically uh we we ended up applying for like i don't know like two or three houses and yeah, they didn't approve us because they went off of, like, credit. Our credit is not that, like, the best. So, 
what they would do is gather all of the applications and then they would check who, who's ever credit score was higher and they would give them that house so our house was not like the best I mean our credit so we would like after the third time applying to a house we we're like okay well never mind like let's just try to like see if we like the apartment so um, we ended up looking for apartments and it was crazy because we ended up finding something like that same week three days before we had to move so it was freaking crazy like we ended up um, getting it on that Monday and we had to move Saturday so it was so stressful I don't know if you guys like miss me on here but I had like stopped uploading and I was like just trying to focus on that trying to like you know get something but yeah um thank god i feel like it was meant to be because here it's it's kind of small of course compared to like us living in a house it's gonna be like a change um now we have like neighbors of course we had neighbors over there but it's way different like now it's like wall to wall neighbors i think i think they could hear me <laughs> but um yeah, it's it's a change, but I don't regret it. Like I I like it here. I actually I don't see myself living here, um, or I don't see us living here like for more than two years, because I think that obviously we want to like you know just have more room and stuff like that. But I really like I don't mind living here. It's actually really really quiet, really um nice. So. I'm happy with that and I know I had to keep it from you guys but it's because like we just weren't sure if it was gonna happen we anything could happen anything things can change and we didn't want to be like just like getting excited and then nothing happening you know so I we didn't tell anybody you guys I didn't even tell my boss I didn't tell anyone I, the only ones that knew were my my closest friends and you know I ended up telling them like once we got the apartment you know how they say like if you tell someone your shit they want to say brujeria well it's not that i wanted that it's, oh yeah i thought people were gonna do brujeria like every single person it's just that i just didn't want to bring any like no me quería ilusionar tanto and then for it to not to happen you know and then like i was gonna look stupid so i was like okay the less people i tell the better and then like yeah, like, I ended up telling everybody, everybody was, like, well, obviously happy for us, but they were, like, sad that we were leaving, but, you know, I was, like, I feel like we all have to make sacrifices. If we try, if we try to, like, just stay in the same place and just because we're comfortable, then we're never going to get anywhere and, you know, we're just going to be stuck in the same place. So, everybody understood. My mom understood. She <clears throat> helped us move and stuff. And yeah, like now she, I mean, we're not that far. We're only three hours away from California, but it's still, it's still a different lifestyle. It's so different here. I mean, compared to like us living in San Bernardino, it's such a freaking difference. You guys don't even understand the difference. I'm so used to like, you know, just living in the ghetto. And going from that to like here, it's like, wow. Like everything, it makes it worth it, you get me? Like a hundred times. And I'm pretty sure everybody will understand why we did it. And at the end of the day, it was because we did want to give our family a better life. And that's what we're doing. I still haven't unpacked everything. I unpacked like classy lady. By the way, I'm filming inside um, of what's well, kind of like my little office or whatever. It's where I keep like classy lady and then where I film. Since I do work from home, you know, this is my job. Is mosca in here? Okay, guys, so I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows off of camera. I'm gonna be using, just in case you guys ask my Anastasia um, dip brow and I'm using the color chocolate. I just got it. Um, I'm just going to be doing that off camera because I take forever and then like my camera's going to die and you know all that. So let me go ahead and turn it off really quick and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I did my eyebrows. Um, I just got me, me embobe because I was watching all of the Kanye stuff. It's so fresh. 
Um, by the time you guys watch this, it's probably going to be like two days old, but crazy shit going on right now. He just fucked up. I'm going to continue on with the tutorial. I'm going to do my, um, I'm going to do my face. I'm going to do my bronzer and all of that. That shit is freaking crazy though. Like Kanye is just. Finally I get to use this baby. So what am I going to be doing for my eyes? I think I'm going to be using that blue one. This one right here. Which is a uh, twerk. It looks kind of, it looks cute on the palette so I'm gonna be using that and you guys it's fucking crazy I'm still tripping out on what he said what he said was very hurtful especially to like you know African Americans because he said that um like the slavery was a choice or something like that like that's kind of like so ignorant of him like are you serious how could you say that that's something that you don't play with and I don't know I just feel like he fucked up when he said that. First first of all, nobody liked him because of Trump. Because, like, he was, like, besties with him. And, like, and now, people are going to hate him and hate, hate him even more. Because, you know, he just feel It just sounds kind of like he just is not giving a fuck, you know? So I'm going to be taking a musical. I know I'm talking a little bit low, but it's because I haven't fully got, like, comfortable to where I can just scream. Especially because I'm telling you guys that we kind of, like, live next to people. So, I mean, it's not like I'm talking super low, but before, you know, I used to freaking scream at my house. But once I get comfortable, I'll probably be, like, the same way, you know? I know for sure when you're in the hallway... You could for sure hear it because it echoes. But I'm not sure if you can hear it from here. I'm going to text Sergio right now. He left to the gym. So I'm going to tell him like to check once he gets back. Hi hey, you guys. I haven't been up to anything. Um, I did want to do like a update on my like daily routine. Have I done that? I don't remember. But um, yeah, it's like a total, like a totally different thing now. Like all I do is... I wake up, I try to wake up early even though, um, you know, I obviously don't have like a 9 to 5 job. Um, I try to wake up early because I don't want to be like lazy or whatever, you know. I still want to have like my schedule. And yeah, I wake up early. And I wake up at 6, I make Sergio breakfast. Which usually he wants like a coffee and then he'll just eat like peanut butter and jelly or something light because it's like really early i don't even get hungry that early um but yeah he'll have that and then later on like what i like to do is i drink a coffee i'll watch some tv i'll go on social media i'll post because i do have to constantly keep posting for classy lady just because that's the way it works like especially sometimes when a lot of people don't see my posts i have to make sure you know that i get like into a um, like, I kind of get into a schedule where they, everybody can see my posts, you know? And I bought this. Um, It's a butter bronzer, but I don't think it's the right shade. I think I should have got it darker because this is too... Like, I tried it on my hand y como que no. Like, I feel like it's too light. But let me see, I haven't tried it on. The only thing I really like... Yeah, I think it's too light. No, I think it's good, huh? Can you tell that I have it on? Because the other one, you guys, I just felt like it was, I loved it. I used the Chocolate Soleil um, bronzer for like years, like two years already, and I love it. But I just felt like it was starting to like kind of, um, like I think it was a little too dark for me. And it would like build up really, really easily. So I wouldn't be able to like fully bronze. I would only be able to like contour so yeah this is actually really really good i like it because i wanted something more light not too heavy because i do like to bronze up my face i don't really like to contour that much and i don't want it to be like that brown 
but this is perfect. The only thing is, um, it does have a lot of fall fallout, but it could be the brush too. Maybe if I try a different brush. I love the smell. It smells like summer. It smells like um sunscreen, like coconut. Mmm. It doesn't taste like coconut though because you know how the chocolate sole smells and it tastes like chocolate. I actually really like it. I wanted something more subtle. I went to Ulta the other day, I, like I was telling you guys, to buy like more makeup because I haven't been having like the chance to like buy any new and I wanted to like make more like tutorials for you guys and things like that and I feel like, okay, well I only have like a little bit of makeup so I have to invest in some more. Um... So, that's what I did. I went to buy some makeup. I got some other stuff. I also got this, um, a spray. Oh, and I got this, um, I don't know how, what I think about this. Yeah, I probably think that I'm going to return it because I did try it on that same day. Like, when I went to Ulta, I was like, I need a setting spray ASAP because my skin, um, it's been going through like a little crisis because over there we had like not to be like a creida or nothing but over there we had um, a filter system where like the whole house was filtered so if all the water um, was clean like it's just very different it has no chlorine nothing like that so nothing harsh so my skin has been like just changing because obviously here we just have the regular water and we well, I don't know if we can put it like a filtration system. I'm pretty sure not because then everybody would have to get it. Um, but, yeah, even like my skin, ha I've noticed like the other day I was like, why are my hands so dry? And so it was like, oh, babe, well, remember? Because we don't have the thing no more. And Nathan too. Nathan is the worst one. Like Nathan, pobrecito, his, his allergies. Um, he has um, like eczema kind of. They're so bad right now, guys, because of the same thing. I'm I'm thinking that's the only thing that changed, so it has to be that. Poor I feel so bad for him. Cause he's been like, you know, like si le le está afectando mucho, but he'll get used to it. All right, let me continue on with my um. I, I just really wanted to try out that bronzer because like me daba ansias like to see it there. I was like I want to try it so bad. So finally, yeah, I do love it. I'm not gonna lie, I really like it. My my nose looks kind of orange, but right now when I put the rest of my makeup on, you guys will see that it won't look like that. So yeah, so I'm trying to like look for a school for Nathan. Um, um, around here, so. If you guys have any recommendations of like good schools for my little puppy, please let me know. Because that's what I've been looking for. Um, I haven't had time to like go drive around, but or Google it because you guys, I get really. You guys probably think that I just lay down all day. I don't. I actually clean. I clean every single day because. I don't know about you guys, but I met with Wensa. Like, that's so embarrassing. I don't know how girls, like, are, like, sometimes... I'm not, I don't know anybody like this, but there's some people, like, on the internet or something that will be like, yeah, she's so dirty and she never cleans and she does this and that, you know? And to me, like, I mean, me dirá vergüenza if my husband, like, went to work and he would come back to a dirty house. Like, What? Who does that? You know, a mí me da vergüenza. Like, imagine. And I'm glad a little bit que si me da vergüenza because imagine si no me diera, I would just not give a fucking lay down all day. Like, don't be lazy, you know? Sometimes I do, like, take, I do, like, sleep in a little bit. Like, I'll wake up, like, at 9 or 10 because sometimes I am tired. But I don't, like, sleep in all day. Like, fuck, you know? Or if we do sleep in, I'll just wait for the weekend to, like, sleep in with him so that I won't look like a freaking lazy ass you know um but for the most part you guys I don't be doing that shit like I try to like I don't know I just feel like once you get to that point like you should never get to that point because that's bad imagine him like he invites his friend or something and then he gets home to 
dirty ass house. Okay, here I go. Ooh, it's nice. I feel like I wonder what people think that I do in here. Because I'm always like talking. I think they probably think that I'm talking to my friend, huh? Like, oh, she's talking on the phone. Unless they could actually hear me. Because what I do is I hear like kind of like when someone talks like, like, ooh, like, I don't know how to explain it, but I can't hear exactly what they're saying. I can just hear them talking. I hope they can't hear me. They can hear me maybe through there. And if they do, well, wow, I mean, this is my job. I have to do it, right? My hair has been really, really, like, se está recuperando. I can actually, I've been thinking, like, I don't know if I should dye it black. I love my hair color the way it is right now, but in able to get a retouch, I would have to, um, I think he would have to, or, like, the person doing it, they would have to add blonde to my hair, so... I'm a little bit scared. I don't want to add blonde. Like, my hair is barely, like, all this is brand new hair. And I don't want to, like, damage it. Like, oh, it's coming out and let me just go bleach it. Like, kill it, you know? So, if we do have to add bleach, I'm just going to be like, no, just dye it black. Not, like, the box black, though, you know? Just, like, black and then I'll let it grow out and let it get healthy. And then hopefully, maybe in the future, I can try, like, I'm not going to do it myself anymore, but... You know, try different things in the future. Not right now. I really love my hair color though. Like, I feel like these rayitos, I don't know. I'm just so in love with it. That's why I haven't been like, I'm like, no, I don't want to like think about retouching it. Because I'm probably going to have to dye it black. Or like a solid color, you know, like brown or whatever. And today I do feel like doing eyeliner because I do want to try it out. Um, I don't know if you guys ever tried the Wet n Wild. Is it the N Wet n Wild or NYC? It was the NYC, huh? I'm so stupid. Okay, well anyways, oh wow, I already got the Wet n Wild one. And I got the Mega Liner because, you know that, oh I do have it, I have it right here. It's the, oh ya se le borró el nombre. It's this one though. I'm pretty sure everybody had it. It was, I think it's. Either NYC or Wet n Wild, but I'm thinking it's NYC, the $1 one. They took it off the market, and this one is like super, ya ni tengo nada. So I was like, okay, I have to pick up one, and I ended up getting this one. I think it was a dollar too. I'm really surprised by the pigment of these shadows. They're actually really, really, really pigmented. Um, Morphe uh, shadows in general, they're not bad. I mean, for the price that you're paying, um... They're really not bad. And I'm going to make the um, blue shadow a little bit more precise. So I am going to go in with a smaller brush. And then just go over that a little bit more. I don't know how girls take pictures of their makeup. Y les sale bien bonito. Like, I'll t I don't know. Maybe because I'm not photogenic. But you guys, oh my god, my make, like my pictures, I have to take like 10,000. And I still won't like any of them. I'm going to attempt to do my eyeliner, oh my god. I'm going to be so mad si no me sale. Okay guys, I think I did it. I think. Yeah, they look pretty even. Okay, I'm not even going to mess with it no more because you know how you keep messing with it and then they just get thicker and thicker? I'm going to put brown on my waterline. So right now, Sergio um, took Nathan with him, thank God, because it's a little bit hard um, to do videos with Nathan here because me tengo que encerrar and he's still not fully, like, 100% comfortable here. Being, like, alone or whatever, like, left alone. So he, like, constantly calls out my name and, like, me siento más a gusto knowing that he's with Sergio, he's at the gym with Sergio. And, you know, he's not here alone or something. Well, I don't leave him alone. I just, he's not in the room with me. He's in the living room, you know? Okay, and then for my lashes, you guys, these lashes, honestly, I got them at Target. I'll um, insert, like, a picture of which ones they are. 
but I don't remember what which ones honestly okay guys and I think that's gonna be it for today for my get ready with me I hope you guys really enjoyed this video I know you guys have been asking for it for a long time already and yeah I think that this is gonna be it I haven't really got a close-up of my makeup well I can see it from here but I don't know how it looks on camera that's what I'm trying to say um, but yeah I think that's gonna be it for today you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video I sure had a lot of fun making it and if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to our family channel. We do vlogs, we do mukbangs. If you guys are into that, you guys are really going to enjoy our other channel, our family channel. And I hope you guys have a great day. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a like. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Uno de nosotros es de barrio fino, un tipo muy real Y nos jugó una apuesta que ni te miremos que te va a robar El otro es medio loco con